Hello everyone, um, today's video is going to be about planting cantaloupes. Uh, here we have seedlings that are barely germinated for cantaloupes. These two are the cantaloupe seedlings. They have been, uh, I think I put them Monday or Tuesday last week and they're already big and they're a little leggy because I kind of like neglected them a little bit but I'm going to transplant them today somewhere. I'm starting to, I'm going to decide later if maybe I will transplant one into a soil and another one into hydroponics to see, to do an experiment to see which one will work better. Maybe the hydroponics one will grow larger or the soil one, who knows, but uh, it's going to be my first experience trying both of these, but separately. So I'm going to transfer one of these two into a hydroponics container. Uh, and in order to decide which one will be a best candidate for that, I'm going to have to look at the roots over here. I can see this one has some roots coming out, which is really good. What about this one? This other cantaloupe plant. It has roots as well. Uh, it's kind of like germinated on the side of this rock wool cube. Uh, maybe I will actually put this on the, on the uh, soil like these other plants that might be easier for this particular plant the next step is to get one of these baskets it's a 3.5 inches basket it has some uh, hydroton beads over here this is something made out of ceramic which is not gonna get any kind of like a fungus or anything like that so these are very safe for hydroponics I'm, I'm gonna wash it right now Alright, so this is my small container. I, I actually bought this one because I really didn't know anything about hydroponics at all. So I thought it would be a good idea to buy one one of these uh, packets from the internet. Uh, it comes pretty much, it's a deep water culture hydroponics set. It comes with one of these pumps with just one of these air, uh, air tubes. And it pretty much bubbles inside and it kind of like oxygens the roots of the plants uh, since I had one extra that I wasn't using I just covered it with um, with some tape and it is important to cover this from the light because if the light reaches the water tank then it can grow algae inside and it will begin to rot all of the roots that are inside so as you can see all of these roots are gonna be very nice and white which means that they are not suffering from any sort of disease or any fungus these two okra plants, by the way, are, are really big right now. They should probably be transplanted somewhere else, somewhere in a bigger container, so they are not like stealing the, uh, the minerals for the other little plants. The next step on this is gonna be to place that in there. Actually, the next step is going to be to get rid of these little balls. make space over there for the plant then I'm gonna put the plant in there I need to space this a little better all right so once it's centered in there I'll just uh, proceed to put more of this hydroton inside of the container all right, I put all the hydroton balls over here. And since the plant is kind of like folding on the side, I have one of these skewers for barbecues that I found. And I'm just going to place it somewhere inside and stab it. Hopefully I'm not gonna stab any important part of the plant. And then lean the plant against that. So it remains up, upright. All right, I should be okay for now. And the next step. All right, so the next step is to open this up and see the water level. Right now, if I pull one of these up, you can see there's no water dripping. That means it's not touching this. But since it, these plants are so small, they really need a little bit of water to be touching them for them to actually grow and get some nutrients. 
So I have this half a gallon with some solution in here already that I can just pour and I will do that right now. So I made a little opening there and I can start pouring some of this. Now if I pull one of these up, you can see that there is water dripping, which means the water is touching. 